Do you know about the International Space Station that was launched in 1988? This International Space Station orbits around the Earth and the astronauts live in this station since then. Do you know where this International Space Station lies? The International Space Station is located at an average altitude of 400 km. So, International Space Station lies at one of the layers of atmosphere and that is thermosphere. Now, thermosphere as we can see from the picture lies above mesosphere and thermosphere is separated from mesosphere by mesopause. Now we already know that mesosphere extends up to an altitude of 80 km above the earth's surface and thermosphere lies above mesosphere. So thermosphere extends from 80 km to about 1000 km above the earth's surface. And I just mentioned that International Space Station is located at an altitude of 400 km. So we can also say that thermosphere is the home to International Space Station. And just like this International Space Station, other satellites orbiting around the Earth is located in this layer of atmosphere. And the extension of thermosphere I just mentioned is from 80 to 1000 kilometer above the Earth's surface. Now, the word thermo is related to heat. Now, why is this layer of atmosphere is called so or how hot this layer is, we will read about those things later on. Now, a unique feature of thermosphere is that it contains several ions. So, let us see how these ions add uniqueness to thermosphere. Now, the part of thermosphere that ionosphere consists of numerous ions is known as ionosphere. So, ionosphere is a region in thermosphere that consists of several ions and this region lies in thermosphere and it extends from 80 km to 640 km above the earth's surface. So, we can also say that ionosphere is located at the lower portion of thermosphere. Now, I have already mentioned that ionosphere is consist of several ions. The ions are formed when extreme UV rays coming from the sun hits the atoms and molecules present in this layer. As a result, the electrons which are negatively charged particles separates from the atoms and molecules and move as free ions. So, this is how this part of thermosphere that is ionosphere is ionized by solar radiations. Now, the ions present in this layer are very helpful to us. Let us see how. We just learned that ionosphere is a part of thermosphere that contains electrically charged particles called ions. These ions are very smart as they reflect the radio waves towards the earth's surface and helps in wireless communication, radio transmission and, and also in navigation. Ionosphere is also the region of beautiful auroras. These auroras are dazzling bright ribbons or streaks of light that are often seen in the polar regions. This light effect is caused due to the interaction of charged particles coming from the sun with the atoms and molecules present in ionosphere. So the amazing light show that we get to enjoy is created by the atmosphere itself. So, till now we have discussed about different characteristics of thermosphere. Let us now discuss about the temperature conditions of thermosphere. Now, look at this graph. This graph shows the temperature conditions of different layers of atmosphere. Well, we have already studied about the temperature conditions of troposphere, stratosphere and mesosphere. We read that in mesosphere, temperature decreases with increase in altitude. In fact, mesosphere is the coldest layer of the earth and temperature decreases in mesosphere till its upper limit that is mesopause. 
Beyond mesopause, temperature remains constant for some altitude and then again temperature begins to increase with increase in altitude. In fact, temperature rises very rapidly. Since temperature increases rapidly in thermosphere, therefore thermosphere is the hottest layer of atmosphere. Now why temperature rises so rapidly in thermosphere? Because in thermosphere as we have seen that ions are formed. So due to the formation of ions we can see that temperature increases rapidly in thermosphere and in fact thermosphere is the hottest layer of the atmosphere. So in the previous slide we saw that temperature rapidly rises in thermosphere with rise in altitude and temperature increases till the upper limit of thermosphere which is thermopause. So thermopause is the upper boundary of thermosphere and just like mesopause, stratopause and tropopause thermopause separates thermosphere from the next layer of atmosphere. So in other words thermopause acts like a transition zone between thermosphere and the next layer of atmosphere. Now before we proceed with our lesson can you help me to answer this? Name the upper limit of thermosphere. Is it thermopause, mesopause, stratopause or tropopause? Well, the correct answer is thermopause. As we have just read that thermopause marks the end of thermosphere and the beginning of next layer of atmosphere. So the correct answer is thermopause. So now let us discuss the characteristics of thermosphere. Thermosphere lies above mesosphere and extends from 80 km to about 1000 km above the earth's surface. Now look at this picture. In this picture this layer is thermosphere and the extension of this layer is from 80 to 1000 km. This layer that is thermosphere lies above mesosphere. So this is mesosphere and this layer is thermosphere. Another important characteristic of thermosphere is that it contains ionosphere. Now ionosphere is a zone in thermosphere which is rich in ions. These ions are very useful as they facilitate or help in wireless communication, radio transmission and also in navigation. The beautiful auroras visible in this layer occur due to the interaction between charged particles coming from the sun and the ions present in this layer. So the atmospheric phenomena like auroras occur in this layer. Now thermosphere is also the hottest layer of atmosphere. This is because temperature rapidly increases in thermosphere with rise in altitude. So thermosphere is also the hottest layer of atmosphere. So these are the important characteristics of thermosphere. Now we will study about another layer of atmosphere. Now moving out of thermosphere we enter into the next layer of atmosphere. This layer of atmosphere is rich in hydrogen and helium atoms. And in fact this is the uppermost layer of atmosphere. Now why do you think hydrogen and helium atoms are found in the uppermost layer of atmosphere? This is because hydrogen and helium atoms are lighter elements and because of this reason they float in the uppermost layer of atmosphere. And now this layer of atmosphere gradually thins out and here begins the mysteries of outer space. Now this outermost or the uppermost layer of atmosphere is called exosphere. Exosphere as we can see from the picture lies above thermosphere and it extends from 1000 km. 
well the outer boundary of atmosphere is unknown to us because exosphere gradually blends with space and the outermost boundary of atmosphere is unknown to us now the word exo means exterior or outside so therefore this outermost layer of the atmosphere is also known as exosphere now exosphere is also known as fringe region this is because just like the exoskeletons of animals like snails cockroaches etc our mother earth also wears a protective exoskeleton that is exosphere now this exosphere is very thin or the density of this layer is very low because it contains less quantity of gases and in fact exosphere contains lighter elements like hydrogen and helium atoms so these are the five different layers of atmosphere and exosphere lies above thermosphere and exosphere is separated from thermosphere by thermopause so thermopause marks the end of thermosphere and the beginning of exosphere now let us discuss about different characteristics of exosphere exosphere as i just mentioned is the uppermost layer of atmosphere in fact the word exo comes from the word exterior so this outermost layer of atmosphere is called exosphere now exosphere extends from 1000 km above the earth surface and gradually merges with space so exosphere lies above thermosphere and it extends from 1000 km and then gradually it merges or thins out to space exosphere is very thin as it contains very little amount of gases exosphere contains lighter elements like hydrogen and helium atoms this is because these elements are very light and they escape from lower layers of atmosphere and hovers in the last region of atmosphere that is exosphere so these are the important characteristics of exosphere so we have studied about the entire structure of atmosphere so in today's video we have discussed about two layers of atmosphere that is thermosphere and exosphere and we have also discussed about various features of these layers in our next video we will discuss about ozone don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now